What's going on guys? It's your boy, Lolliet with another OS. Okay, I can't do that, sorry. <laughs> I am making this video because I've gotten so many questions on multiple videos of what my rune light settings are. And while I don't mind answering a question here and there, um, it's kind of the same question on almost every video. So I figured I would just make a rune light settings video for you guys to watch and then, you know, copy my settings exactly the way that I have them. And if I miss anything in this video, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to a pinned comment that has all of the answers to any questions you might have. So let's jump straight into it. Now for the first plugin, we are using the 117 HD beta plugin. You will have to find that in the plugin hub towards the bottom of all of your plugins. Search for it and install it and then you can activate it. As you can see, we have it on right now. Everything looks very clean, very HD. Um, yeah, if we turn it off, this is, yeah, what we're left with. So pretty huge difference, I, I might, I must say. <laughs> um, besides that one, like before this one came out, I was just using the regular GPU plugin, and that also looks pretty good. If we switch over to that, um, there it is. This is what the old school graphics look like, but it still has like options like render distance and it does make stuff look a lot cleaner than just the original game. So use that if you don't like HD or if you can't run HD, but for now I am using HD. The most important ones I think is probably UI scaling mode. People always ask how my text looks so crisp and clean. Um, that's because I set my UI scaling to XBR. I think the default is nearest neighbor and if I switch to that you'll see that it looks a little pixelated which looks fine if you're playing on a smaller window but since I have it stretched out quite a bit XBR looks very clean to me but then again you have people who say they don't like the look of it that it doesn't feel old school so I guess you know choose whatever you like next plugin is animation smoothing now this plugin has been around for a long time I think it's super cool uh, once again some people don't like it but I'm a big fan of it uh, it basically just smooths the animations, just like it's, you know, just like the name. So I actually really like it. Um, you can get a pretty good example of the changes if you try using the Toxic Blowpipe. You'll notice a huge difference with animation smoothing on, but I do have that on. Um, another question that people always ask me is how I get my boost to show up on the right side right here. And a long time ago, I set this up and it was some like complicated way of doing it. But now I think it's much easier. Uh, I think all you have to do is hold alt and you can pretty much like move this like wherever you want and yeah pretty neat little feature you can also resize it to get them to stack vertically I think there's there's a setting in room light I think it's called info box you set that to 30 pixels and then you can of course resize it with alt and you should be able to get them lined up with um, the bar on the side like this Oh, and if they display as numbers and not like as actual like, you know, icons like this, I believe you have to go to the boost plugin. You have to check the box that says display as info boxes because if that's off, they'll just appear as numbers like this. So make sure you have display as info boxes on and you should get them like this. Um, as you can see, this thing appeared. <laughs> it's not supposed to be there. They're supposed to stack vertically. So there you go. See? You can resize it like that. If I drag down, I can get all of them to align vertically. So that's that. Uh, I think it's the best way I can explain it. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else you have to do, but that's what I found that I could do. So yeah. Um, next thing, uh, I thought I would show my ground item settings because I feel like people have asked how I get, you know, spawn times to show up and stuff like that. So here are my ground items settings. This is really cool because you can customize the way you want it to show up, right? You can set values for items and you can also set different colors for them. For instance, if I get like a drop that's over 1 million, it will appear as purple. Actually, no, not over 1 million. It has to be between uh, 100,000 and 1 million and then it'll appear purple. Anything over 5 million is going to appear orange since it's my highest one. I also have the despawn timer set to seconds. That might be what some people have asked for in the past. Uh, it puts a little number next to your item that's on the ground. So it lets you know when it's going to despawn. Very helpful whenever you're like bossing and you want to know when your stuff is going to despawn. So yeah, I have that on. And uh, the loot beams are also pretty cool. So yeah, uh, let me see if I drop my graceful. 
we might get a loot beam here. Yeah, see, we get a blue loot beam, and it's, yeah, it's blue because they value it at between 7,000 and 100,000, which is what I have my value set to. But of course, you can customize that any way you want. But uh, yeah, loot beams are pretty cool. Also, the timer's right there. It showed you how many seconds are there until it despawns. I believe the timer goes from green to yellow when everybody can see your item. So just keep that in mind. All right, on to the next uh, plugin. Uh, I think we can just jump straight to the room light plugin and I can show you a picture of that since there's a bunch of settings in there. Now, my game size, I have it set to 1661 by 1092. Now, the reason for this is because I got a 1440p monitor like over a year ago. And when I played on the default window of room light in fixed mode, it was way too small on this monitor. So I had to stretch it out and I now basically play on full screen fixed. It's not completely full screen, but I did stretch it out a good bit. And I think it looks really good the way I have it right now. Just keep in mind that if you copy my settings exactly, they might not appear the same way that they do for me, right? Your monitor might be different. And if it is, then, you know, just play around with the settings and, uh, you should be able to find something that works for you. That's basically what I did. Whenever I got this new monitor, I just played with the settings until I found something that looks clean. Um, so yeah, that's my rune light settings. Uh, like I said, you can pause the video whenever you need to. Uh, but yeah, that's my rune light settings. I think the most important part about that was just the game size and explaining why I play at the size that I do. But yeah, I still play on fixed. I'm still a very big fan of playing on, on fixed mode. And I gotta admit, it did take some time to get used to the fact that it's a bigger screen and that I have to like drag my mouse like further, but it's not that big of an issue anymore. And plus the game looks really nice playing it like this, especially with the HD plugin. It looks really, really good. So last plugin is the stretched mode plugin. If I can find it, here it is, stretch mode. And for this one, I only have the keep aspect ratio box checked. I don't think it makes a huge difference if I uncheck it. Yeah, I can't even really notice what's going on. So I don't even know if this matters, but I do have that checked. Uh, integer scaling and increased performance mode, I have them turned off and resizable scaling is on 100%. So yeah, those are pretty much my settings for room light. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, this is just what I play on and you guys have been asking for it. You know, so I thought I'd make a video on it. And now anytime somebody asks uh, how I do something a certain way, I can just link this video instead of having to, you know, say the same answer every single time. So so that is pretty much it for all of the settings that I use on RuneLite. Again, if I missed anything, leave it down in the comments below and I will answer it in a pinned comment. That way, if you know people have the same question, they can just look at the comment to see if I missed anything in the video and hopefully get an answer there. Hopefully this helped and if it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe to the channel. Also, I did make a post about another channel that I have created. I've been uploading clips that I recorded whenever I was on break and they seem to be doing pretty well. So if you're interested in a little bit more variety, feel free to check that channel out. It's called Shinigami Eyes. Those that know, know, <laughs> that's all I can say. But um, yeah, pretty uh, funny, entertaining content on there. So give it a watch. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to all of my channel members with a special thanks to ACR Beans. Once again, thanks for watching, hope this video helped, and as always, I will catch you guys in the next episode.